So welcome back guys. Um, so today we're talking about virtual network management, bridging the virtual gap. Um, why, why are we talking about this? Well, maybe you just have a lack of visibility into your virtual network configurations. The, the server people, your server administrators, they uh, go into vCenter, they create configurations, they do dot one q trunks, all that kind of stuff. And you just, as the network administrator, you have no visibility into that. Or, um, you know, the other big one is just a matter of making sure you have the right information. The network edge changed and our responsibilities as network professionals didn't. And it, we really need a tool and a way to bring the virtual and the physical network together and give us one um, consistent visual representation of what's going on in the network, right? Uh, maybe you just need to correlate the virtual to the physical topology. You know, vMotion and, and live migration servers are wandering around all over the network and you just need to know actually where they live on which physical host on which hypervisor so we're going to show you how to do that today okay so let's get started so the first thing you're going to have to do is go and find your ES hosts and your vcenters and you're actually going to have to put in the right credentials to be able for imc to be able to access this so we're going to be using the uh, the vmware web services api and we're going to go and find our esx host so we got the first host here, um, 10.101.0.6, and we're going to click the Go button. We're going to get the resource page for the host. Uh, in this case, we got a couple of them that came up through the filter. Now we're going to go into the host, and we've got a host that's come up. Um, you can see it's an ICMP-only host. Typically, we don't have... Uh, SNMP turned on on the ESX host by default. If you want, you can go do that, but read the VMware documentation. Um, we're going to modify the SOAP template. So this is a SOAP template we're going to use. All right, let's uh, drag this over to the middle here. And this is all pretty typical stuff. Um, 443 is a default. SDK is the v default. For this instance, we're going to use the root account and we're going to put in uh, the password for the root account. Click OK. So all of this is really accessing directly through the VMware API. So you need to make sure you have the right credentials. Um, if you have a limited account, not necessarily a root account, what you're actually going to be able to do and see may be limited. So make sure you talk and, uh, and, and talk with the VMware guys, your VMware administrators. All right, we're going to go, uh, we're going to find one of the other hosts here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the information in. Um, so in this case, this is actually our vCenter box. And we're going to put in the exact same, uh, exact same information, right? Go in. Same port, same default. Uh, VMware is nice and consistent this way. Root, password, click OK. So the SOAP API is successfully modified. OK, we're good to go here. We find our last host. Um, same thing, modify SOAP template. We've done this before. We'll go through this pretty quickly. Verify the information is there. And click on the OK button. So we're good to go. So now what we're going to do is go over to resource and the uh, the virtual network manager. And typically this might take a little time to populate. It's actually got to go out and grab that information. So we're going to click on the quick start button just to let you guys have a look at this. There's some good information on here. Um, in IMC 5.1 we support both VMware as well as Microsoft's Hyper-V. Uh, so that's if you have a Hyper-V Obviously, this will be different than VMware, but gives you an approximation of the same information. So we're going to click on the virtual network view here, and we're going to go in and see exactly what we're, we've got. So we've got a couple of ESX hosts. We've got the status for them. You know, we can go see who uh, who the vCenter manager for these specific ESX hosts are. So we're pulling that directly from vCenter. We can see these are HP servers, how much RAM is installed in them, and then what model it's so it's a DL380 G5 a couple of them um, nice and consistent for some vMotion which we'll we'll look at a bit later so we can expand this here we can see exactly what virtual machines are currently running on that ESX host um, the status the v, the v switches if they're running if they're not running the IP addresses on them so we're actually going to be pulling these from the VM tools which is assigned um, and, and pulled from the 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 vCenter or the ESX host itself. So you got to have that information in vCenter or the ESX host to be able to pull it out. 
So now we're going to go in and look a little bit deeper. Um, maybe we want to look at, I don't know, a V switch here. All right, so we can look at the V switch. We can click on the modify button. We could add another V switch if we want. This gives you the ability, maybe if you've got multiple interfaces and those, those pesky server guys, they just forgot to include them. Or, uh, or perhaps, you know, we're going to go look at the port groups here. Um, another really common one, you know, you got a vMotion port. Well, you might want to check the dot one queue. Did they put the vMotion port in the right VLAN? Well, they didn't. You know, maybe it needed to be in VLAN 15, right? So we'll fill this out. We would click on the OK button. In this case, we're going to go back to zero. I don't want to break anything here. Okay, we're going to cancel out of this. So the next we've got your uh, your actual NICs, right? You can see exactly what's in here, what IP addresses are assigned to them. Um, just some more information here. And last but not least, up at the top, we have the storage button. And the storage will actually give us um, shared storage that's currently on the system. So in this case, we've got a uh, San IQ box, a P4000 box. It's got about 50, 50 megs of RAM, nothing, uh, or 40, 50 gigs of RAM, sorry. Um, but again, we got some shared storage here, right? So the next thing we're going to look at is go in and look at the other host because this is one of the other cool parts about IMC is that we actually have the ability to perform vMotions from within IMC. So if you need to vacate a switch because you got to do some maintenance on the switch and the, the server guys, they forgot to vacate and you've got a service that you just, you can't have the server go down, but you want to migrate it off. I'm going to click on the manual migration, right? We're going to look at what ability we have here. You know, we got some information about the VM, what, uh, how many CPUs, memory, what OS it's running. This is all reported from VM tools and from, from vCenter again. Right, we can pick the resource pool. So if you have a little uh, little more advanced environment than what I have in my lab here, you've got uh, VM HA or um, disaster disaster recovery on. Right, we're good to go. Um, click OK the button. And now we're going to see in the error, um, error message, in the successful message here, that everything is good. We can click on button over there get uh, the actual report so we can see here that this was successful so I have now just caused a vMotion event and I never had to touch vCenter never had to log into it my uh, my server guys are happy I didn't have to log into it they don't have to create me an account over there and and have me mucking around in their in their vCenter so everybody's happy at this point so now let's take a look over at the topology map. So we'll go resource, network topology. Okay, so we're going to go on the VNM, the virtual network management topology here. So again, this is an, an ESXi, this is VMware, but this should be pretty consistent between the two. And you'll see we got the connection to the physical cloud, right? You've got the actual physical switch that, that this these two ESX hosts are plugged into. Um, you can actually see the link it's plugged into here. Um, basic general stats, right? You can see it's a it's a one gig link, the actual Ethernet interface, and you've got the shared storage, and it'll actually give you some stats about the shared storage here as well. So that's kind of a nice a nice touch. But what about those uh, those ESX hosts? What's actually running on the ESX or the VM guests? What are they? What's running on this ESX host? So we double click the ESX host, come out here, and we now have some additional information. We've got all the VM guests that are running in here. You can see we've got uh, the vSwitch 0, we've got the little VC here, so this is actually our vCenter, so a nice little icon to give you that. And, um, you know, that's that's it. There's a lot of information here. Never had to touch vCenter, really bridging the two worlds and bringing them together under one centralized console. See you guys next time on the next IMC Management Tutorial.